what's going on YouTube what's happening everybody welcome back to a little more aqua porn it's been a while been about three or four weeks had some in-laws in town from Peru South America it was lovely having them they always bring us some great treats tamales some great food some great chocolates and they spoiled my boys and kept them out of my hair so I kind of had a little vacation as well so thank you to my in-laws It was great having you can't wait to see you again anyway this video is going to be about how I've recycled this ba battery backup for a computer it was going to be ditched it was going to be thrown away and I said hey that'll make a great outlet box for my eight channel relay so I can uh, control my individual outlets so this video is going to be about how I took this and recycled it for my needs as a eight channel or eight outlet box Arduino controlled so let's go through it. Let's not waste any time. It's been a while. 110 subscribers now. That is so awesome. Thank you, thank you, everybody who's subscribing to my channel. Makes it uh, fun for me. I'm glad people are enjoying this build and my marine build. So let's get to it. Okay, gang, so I got it mostly built already. So we'll just kind of go through it. At this point, I should probably put out a disclaimer there that this is a how I did it video, not a how-to video. Electricity is dangerous, can cause shocks, fire, death. Uh, I'm not going to be held responsible for somebody out there who built something like this and said, oh, well, Aquaporn did it on his video and told me to do it this way. Well, this is how I did it. I'm not telling you how you should do it, but you should know a little bit about electricity before you get into it. So with that said, hopefully that's enough to cover my ass legally on anything that, you know, somebody out there might do. So this is the inside of the battery backup. It had some circuit boards and everything. I just completely gutted it. It had a transformer and all sorts of stuff. I gutted it and I'm recycling the parts with this build. But to show you how it was put together, we'll take this piece off here, if it'll come off. Okay. So basically down here, you'll see one straight bar and then this one is another straight bar. That bar down there that's facing upwards is the ground, grounding bar. And then this bar is the neutral. Now, the positive side was also a straight bar. So I had to make a modification to make these individual outlets. If it stayed a straight bar, they'd all just be on their own power. Everything would be on or everything would be off. So basically what I did is I just snipped the bar into small sections for each outlet and then soldered on a wire that's going to run to my relay which is in here and that's pretty cool we'll go over that later so with the design it was really simple uh, because there's a grounding bar here and then underneath this it's the same here's the other four outlets there's a grounding bar that goes straight across and then a neutral terminal that goes straight across so basically all I had to do here's my power plug basically all I had to do was solder my neutral to that bar and then jump it around to this neutral bar and so that's done then my ground I, I uh, soldered to this bar down behind here and then just jumped a wire and soldered it onto this grounding bar so the ground and positives are done and then with the negatives like I said I split them up and I ran them all to the relay which is under here now for the to get the power to the relay I hooked up this terminal here so the power comes from the cord from the outlet in the wall and and goes to this transition right here this power terminal and on this power terminal I hooked in everything that's got to run to the relay as well so we've got the one power term powering this whole terminal and that's how it's going to supply the AC power to each individual relay. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and that's the basic circ the basic AC circuit. And that's kind of the dangerous one. Now the rest of the build, for this area right here, I'm going to try and use some of this perf board I bought. And make a little, just a little jumper connection for the relay using the 10 pin headers the jumpers and that'll jump right into the relay and I'll show you that right now. So now what was really cool about recycling this box to use 
is that this is where the battery would used to be housed for the battery backup but it's perfect for my relay so this will slide in and I'll be able to to get to that relay without having to take the whole outlet box apart and I thought that was a really cool bonus feature from recycling this so I was able to mount the 8 channel relay it's a 5 volt 8 channel relay in here and I've already connected all the wires to each separate relay uh, this is where this these are the mounting terminals that will give me the 8 channels plus a 5 volt and a ground so that's what I got to jump from here to where I'm going to have my Ethernet port and barrel jack and then I can just plug in an Ethernet wire and then the uh, the power wire from here up into my controller box so that's where I'm at on this build so far and we will see if I get lucky here and I'm able to finish it up okay so I just got a chance to finish up my little hub here again it's just a little uh, hub that's gonna go into the outlet box I've got a 10 pin header right here that'll carry the signals to the relay board and then uh, the barrel jack it'll also uh, take the power there so basically it's just a hub the Ethernet port will carry all the analog signals to the Arduino and the barrel jack will carry the 5 volt DC voltage these proto boards are pretty cool uh, just if anybody else out there uses them one swipe with the the exacto knife is not going to take it you kind of got to grind them uh, that took me the longest because I was being too delicate with it and you actually really have to grind it out so that's that and let's get that in the outlet box and we're almost done with uh, part one here of the hardware so here we are I'm really pleased how this is starting to turn out I've got my my uh, little power hub here or the signal hub mounted it fit perfectly uh, well not exactly perfectly but but good enough I didn't have to drill any holes or anything for it so that's cool I hit up my uh, five wire pins or my five wire I don't know exactly what these are called I2P wire into the 10 pin headers and it goes into this box and connects then to my relay so it comes up through here and then hooks into my relay so that's it for the wiring now all there is to it is to get it put together I can screw it in now and then when I do test it I can open and close this I don't need to take the whole thing apart and I can leave it kind of in a fixed position okay so here we are with the completed box I numbered the outlets so I know which pin corresponds to which outlet just so I don't forget but it's all put together it's nice and tight I got the, this all taken care of I can't do that with one hand but that'll slide open get get me to my relay so this is it for the part one of the outlet box build it might be three it might be two but I do have to make some adjustments in the hood to get the 5 volt power supply here now I don't want to use the 5 volt from the Arduino I have a step down DC step down that'll step it down to the 5 volts and that'll come from my uh, 24 watt uh, there are 400 watt 24 volt power supply so it'll step it down to the 5 for me it is 5 amps so I gotta read up on that I don't want to fry the board out but here it is num step 1 complete stay tuned for steps 2 and step 3 will be the software and I'll show you how I'm gonna control it from my Arduino have a good one everybody stay tuned st part 2 and part 3